a lot's been done the past few days here at the shop. I'll go ahead and show you around a lot of the things that we've been doing. Uh, pretty much, it's been entirely Corvette paint prep because uh, we are going to be primering this thing tomorrow. The booth is yet to be set up entirely. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow along with uh, like the final prep before we paint it and then we're gonna build the entire booth that way it's as clean as possible. Um, basically, I had to fill in a hole here. You see that that's all nice and filled in. Uh, we got all of the edge sealant from the wrap off the entire car. That was probably the biggest pain in the butt. Uh, so basically, whenever they wrap the car on the edges that they think are gonna pull, they put this basically like super glue to make sure that it does not pull apart and obviously sometimes it does fail like you saw in the mirrors but that's just because you know it's there's only so much you could do and so much of that stuff you can put uh, but essentially that edge sealant is everywhere and we have to scrape it off with our fingernails and it sucks to take off even with uh, basically uh, goo gone and other stuff it's just it's not very fun at all um, the headlights perfectly fine. This is the other fender. We had the same exact hole for the side skirts. That's nice and filled in. And we've got both the fenders. We've got this corner here that you saw that we rebuilt. This is entirely good and ready for primer. And then the bottom side of this needed some fiberglass repair. Uh, we had that side there that had a little crack. So we went ahead and grunted that out, filled that in. And we got a couple other holes that we filled in on this one. And then this one over here took a little bit more work, had a few more cracks. We had a major crack here. This is all nice and filled in here uh, you can see that it was right there and I just grinded that all out we had another crack here and another crack here I believe and all that is nice and smooth under there a couple other holes that we filled in those are all from the side skirt as well and then this front little license plate cover here this is all nice and prepped uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be primering this thing we might just go ahead and throw this straight into paint since it's for the most part pretty good there's only a little piece here that we had to body work a little bit um, and then moving on the rockers all the way across here on both sides are pretty good. The other side is a little bit better than this side. This side obviously has hit the ground a lot more than the other one. Uh, this side it was cracking a few places and you saw that we were doing a little bit of fiberglass work from behind here so we went ahead and ground all that out, put some fiberglass back there, uh, make it a little bit stronger. And then also down here, just because of the way the car is designed, because it is so low, it was scraping right here a lot and it actually separated this piece from the bottom piece here. So we went ahead and put some fiberglass behind here just to make it a little bit stronger. And that way it gives it a little bit more material to uh, basically grind through before it separates again. This side again is all good. We put some fiberglass behind there, same thing on the other side. And then all this, the holes that we had there are nice and filled. And then you saw on this bumper, we filled in all of the holes from the street arrow diffuser and I tried a like $35 can of primer uh, and it worked out pretty well it's just I didn't want to do it to everything I kind of just wanted to see if I could use it to kind of streamline this process and get that done and try and primer some stuff before George is able to come but it didn't really work out so we're just gonna go ahead and primer everything with the actual primer in the gun tomorrow <laughs> Girl,